At the Zhuhai Air Show 2024, Noringo is set to unveil the VT4 A1 main battle tank, a major upgrade to the VT4, reflecting China's evolving tank technology, and is aimed to position the VT4 A1 as a competitive choice for global defense markets. Designed primarily for export, the VT4 A1 incorporates significant upgrades that enhance its operational versatility, survivability, and battlefield awareness. This version serves as a transitional model bridging the gap between the VT4 and the anticipated VT4B, equipping with state-of-the-art features like an active protection system, remote weapon station, and the dedicated vertical takeoff and landing reconnaissance drone. The VT4A1 introduces several cutting-edge technologies that make it a formidable asset on the modern battlefield. One of the VT4A1's most critical upgrades is the GL5 Hardcure APS designed to counter increasingly sophisticated anti-tank threats. The GL5 employs 4mm wave radars that detect incoming projectiles particularly top attack missiles, which are common threats to ammo vehicles. Once the threat is detected, the system activates high-speed turret interceptors to neutralize it. This level of protection is essential in a battlefield environment, where precision-guided munitions pose significant dangers to tanks. The VT4A1 is equipped with the Mountain Fire Control System that enhances targeting accuracy, especially at extended ranges. The system, similar to that found in China's Tab 15 light tank, supports indirect firing calculations, providing a strategic advantage in scenarios where the tank may need to engage targets beyond line of sight. Such capabilities also give the VT4A1 flexibility in various combat scenarios, allowing it to support infantry units by firing from covered positions. The VT4A1's remote weapon station is another step forward integrating a 12.7mm heavy machine gun, a laser warning system, and a drone jammer. The system allows the tank to defend itself effectively against enemy personnel, light vehicles, and low-flying drones. Additionally, the remote weapon station enhances crew protection by allowing engagement from within the tank, reducing exposure in high-threat environments. Perhaps on the VT4A1's most innovative features is his vehicle-mounted VTOL drone stored in a turret-mounted compartment. This drone, similar in design to the Trek Follows UAV, has a coaxial dual rotor system and foldable rotors for compact storage. Once deployed, it can operate at altitudes between 100 and 1000 meters and at a range of up to 10 kilometers with a high-definition optoelectronic pod that includes infrared night vision, white light, and laser ranging, the drone greatly enhances the VT4A1's situational awareness. The VT4A1's reconnaissance drone provides the tank crew with real-time aerial surveillance, a feature that has become increasingly valuable in modern warfare. By observing trend from above, the crew gains a significant tactical advantage, allowing them to detect enemy positions, identify position ambush sites, and assess crews before advancing. The drone's 13 to 15 km operational radius provides substantial reconnaissance coverage, supporting the tank's capacity to identify and engage targets beyond direct sidelines. 
This type of drone integration reflects a broader trend in armor vehicle design, where the importance of enhanced battlefield awareness and indirect engagement capabilities is now a priority. For instance, in the Ukrainian conflict, both Russian and Ukrainian forces have used drones for real-time targeting, underscoring their role in battlefield intelligence. Drones are increasingly used to support indirect fire operations, providing targeting information that improves the accuracy for long-range artillery or tank fire. The VT-4A1 drone, with its ability to rely information back to the crew, positions the tank as a highly capable asset in scenarios where both direct and indirect fire support are necessary. The VT-4 series, including the VT-4A1, has already attracted attention and buyers worldwide, including Thailand and Nigeria, both of which have incorporated the VT-4 into their respective military arsenals. The VT-4A1's new features are likely to increase its appeal, especially among nations seeking advanced but cost-effective main battle tanks. These countries are often balancing modernization needs with budget constraints, making the VT-4A1 an attractive option due to its competitive pricing compared to Western tanks with similar capabilities. Thailand, as an earlier adopter of the VT-4, has reported positive operational results with the tanks performing effectively in training exercises and regional security missions. The VT-4A1 could further enhance Thailand's capabilities, especially in missions requiring enhanced protection and real-time intelligence. Nigeria's military, which has deployed the VT-4 in anti-terrorism operations, may also fight the VT-4A1's upgrades advantages for operations in regions where asymmetric threats and guerrilla tactics are common. The VT-4A1 advancements reflect key trends in tank warfare, where survivability, situational awareness, and indirect engagement capabilities are prioritized. On today's battlefields, tanks often face high-tech anti-armor threats from drones, loitering munitions, and precision-guided missiles, making APS like GL-5 crucial. This hard care system provides an additional layer of defense, mitigating the risks posed by these weapons and enabling the VT-4A1 to operate with reduced vulnerability.